Hey what's going on guys, it's Frolix here bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video guys, we're going to be going over some things that you should know about if you're going to be selling in public lobbies in GTA 5 Online. When I say selling, I mean selling your crates, selling the vehicles that you source, selling pretty much anything that will make you a lot of money that other players in the lobby will get notifications for and try to kill you. Now there's been a lot of instances where people will try to sell in lobbies and then people will just come along and kill you out of nowhere and you lose all of that stock that you worked so hard to build up so obviously you don't want that to happen and i'm going to be telling you a few things that will hopefully make sure that it will never ever happen again as long as you play this game so hope you guys enjoy the video just before we get into it don't forget we're doing that giveaway on my twitter right now six people have a chance at winning a bunch of awesome prizes so if you guys do want to enter it click the link in the description to my twitter page and just follow the instructions on the pinned tweet on my profile and then comment your platform afterwards and then you guys are good to go and of course, if you guys do want to purchase any of those packages that I am giving away, go check out Digazani. They're the ones sponsoring the giveaway. If you guys want to purchase them, you can get them all 10% off by using code FROLIX. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get it started. Just before we start talking about the do's and don'ts of selling in public lobbies, I'm going to give some of you new players a little tip that you probably didn't already know. So when you're selling crates in GTA 5, as you guys know, there is three different options. You can sell it in a boat, a plane, and in trucks, and you don't get to pick. It's always randomized. So let's say you're selling your full entire stock of 111 crates from your warehouse and you go to sell it and it says take these three trucks and deliver them to the point where you need to now if you're doing this in a public lobby the crates in the trucks will actually be shown to everybody in the lobby they'll see that one is moving and they'll see that the other two aren't now if this is going to happen to you guys you're probably not going to want to sell it with the trucks because you'll need two other people to drive them or you'll have to drive all of them yourselves and keep going back and forth what you guys should do is actually find a new session and when you do that while selling the crates you'll end up losing three crates which some people will get annoyed with but honestly it's worth it because then you might actually be able to sell using a plane and if you're selling using a plane there's only one vehicle that you will use to actually sell the crates making it a lot easier so then you don't have to go back and forth constantly and risk having those other two shipments of crates being destroyed by other online players so if you're gonna sell in a public lobby it's always best in my personal opinion if you're selling by yourself to sell using the plane because it's only one vehicle and it's a lot easier so just keep finding a new lobby until you get the plane so the very first thing that you guys are going to want to look for for selling in public lobbies is how many CEOs, VIPs, or MC presidents are actually in your lobby. Now, when you guys look for this, you just click down on the D-pad and it'll show a whole list of all the players and the maximum amount of these players allowed in each lobby is 10. And for each one of those players, you'll get a 1% bonus when you're selling your crates. So if there's 10 of them, you get a 10% bonus. So let's say you're selling $2 million worth of stock or you're selling $2 million worth of crates or whatever you're selling, you'll end up getting a another $200,000 extra just because those players are in your lobby. So obviously when you join a lobby, that's the first thing you want to look for. See how many CEOs, MC presidents, or VIPs are in your lobby because if there's none, you're just losing out on extra free money. So that's one thing and the main thing that you do want to take advantage of when selling in public lobbies. Now this next one is very, very important, and it's going to be looking for people that have a high mental state, and there is a lot of these players in GTA 5 Online all of the time. So how to check this, you just click options or the pause button on your controller, go into the map, and you'll notice there's people with red blips or white blips, or some that are kind of in the middle. You guys can see this one is a bright red, which means he is a psychopath, and obviously that means he just goes around killing people, and it's probably why he's in his hangar, because he's probably getting his laser going to do more griefing and kill a bunch of players. So you want to look out for people that have very high mental states. And this player obviously has a low mental state just like I do because we don't go around killing people. So you want to look throughout the lobby and see how many people have a very high mental state because those are the players that will most likely be trying to kill you because they are the ones that will most likely be doing all of the killing in this specific lobby. So if you guys want to check another way, if you weren't able to find all the players, go to the players list in your pause menu and just keep scrolling down. And on the right side, it'll say, mental state. Now most people will probably have a normal mental state, but you'll come across a few people that will say psychopath. There's some other things like deranged or something like that, which means they like to go around killing people. You guys can see in this lobby there was only like three or four players, so if there is only like three or four players, you're obviously going to want to figure out where those players are and what vehicles they're in and what they're doing and then if they are a danger to you when you're selling, you're probably not going to want to sell in this lobby. So like I said, this lobby doesn't have too many of them. I would say if there was at least six or seven people with a very high mental state in the lobby that you're in, of course, if it is a full lobby then, 
I would suggest leaving and finding a new one because they're most likely gonna come and try to kill you and honestly it's just not worth the risk. Now this next tip will help out a lot of people and it's definitely gonna change how you're selling in lobbies. When you go into the game, click the pause menu and go and take a look at how many people there are in their facilities, in hydras or lasers or on oppressors. Now it's very very important because those are the people that will most likely be able to kill you the quickest out of everybody else in the lobby. The second you say you're selling, they'll get the notification and they can zoom over to right where you are and kill you. Other players would still have to call in their vehicles, go and get them, and it'll end up giving you a little bit more time. So obviously you want to look out for the people that are on oppressors, lasers, and hydras. And obviously you want to look out for people in facilities because they will kill you with the orbital cannon. It's happened to me before and I guarantee it's probably happened to a couple of you guys as well. So how to tell if people are in facilities? All you gotta do is just go onto the map and look around and see if there's any people anywhere around the map, mostly on the coastal sides of it, that say they're in a house, which means they're either in a bunker or they're in a facility. It's only one of those two options. And if you see any of those people, you're probably not gonna wanna sell in this lobby because they will just take their orbital cannon and absolutely obliterate you and then you're just gonna be really pissed off and probably close the application and not play this game for a couple of weeks, maybe even forever. So honestly, it's one of the most important things. Make sure you look for this because if you don't and you click sell, your 111 crates could all go down the drain in a matter of minutes if you don't check for this first. So this next tip is also very, very important. It's gonna be seeing what other players are doing in your lobby. And how to check this is gonna be taking a look at the left side of your screen at your minimap. What you guys wanna do is just keep an eye out for all of the messages that say this person has died or this person has been killed by this person. And obviously you wanna look for that because if there is a lot of that going on, you might end up being one of those people that will die, except it'll be at the wrong time because you're selling your crates. So obviously, if you don't see anybody getting killed, then it's probably a pretty decent lobby to sell in. And then you wanna go and take a look at everything else I've said in this video about what they're doing, where they are, if they have high mental states and that sort of thing, then you guys should be good to sell in the lobby. But obviously, if you see a lot of people dying, a lot of people having high mental states, and all of the other things I mentioned in this video, then obviously you're not gonna wanna sell in this lobby. And earlier, while I was recording this, there was a little battle going on at the beach. And let's say your cargo supply, whatever you were selling, is within that area of about a mile, all the way around in an entire circle. And if it is, it's probably not a good idea to sell at that specific time because there's a whole fight going on there. And if you go to sell and it says, hey, this person is selling crates, they'll look at where they are and they'll see you and then probably come and kill you right away because it doesn't really take too much time out of their day and they'll just eliminate you. But if you were on the other side of the city, then they're probably not gonna wanna come all the way over there just so they can kill you, but some people might. So obviously there's a lot of things that you do wanna look out for when selling in public lobbies and hopefully everything I've mentioned so far in this video will help you guys out. I know it helps me out because whenever I sell, I look at all of these points that I mentioned and I pretty much never end up getting any of my crates or whatever I'm selling destroyed because I look for all of this kind of stuff. And if I see any of it in the lobby, then I just find a new one, go and sell and get a bunch of money in the end. So the final tip in this video is also a very helpful one and it will cost you a little bit of money, but trust me, it's worth it in case you ever run into some of these scenarios. And that's gonna be upgrading your vehicles that you use to deliver the product that you're selling. Now, some people don't wanna do this and obviously you could see why because it does cost a little bit of money to do. And obviously some people don't see it as being worth it, but personally, I think it's very worth it. So if you're selling crates, you have three different delivery options. And like I said earlier, that's the boat, a plane, and the trucks. Now, all of these different vehicles have different upgrades, and there's two for each one of them. Now, the trucks have bulletproof tires and armor on them. So when you're selling and somebody comes at you with an oppressor, they'll most likely have to shoot like six to 10 rockets at you just for you to actually get destroyed. And that's half the amount of rockets they have. So if they were already going around killing people with their oppressor, they're probably not gonna be able to kill you completely because you have so much armor on your vehicle. And then planes also have an armor upgrade as well. So if someone comes at you with a laser or an oppressor, like I said, then of course you have more armor, but planes also have a jammer upgrade. So if you have a co-pilot flying with you, they can actually jam the signal so then people won't won't be able to find you on the map 
and then it gives you a much better chance at selling a lot quicker and also just not being able to be killed by other people because they don't know where you are on the radar. And then boats also have an armor upgrade and a speed upgrade so you can go a little bit quicker. And all of these upgrades really are worth it in the end because let's say you're doing a mission and let's say you decide not to buy the armor and you're selling all of the crates you have and you're just about to deliver it but then an oppressor comes by, shoots a few rockets and you're done. But if you had that armor, you might have been able to go that little extra bit of a mile and be able to finish off the delivery and sell all of your products. So in the end, do you think it's worth it to put this kind of protection on your vehicles so then when you do end up selling them, if you run into a situation, you will be okay? Another example is having sex without a condom. You could get the other person pregnant, so honestly, it's a risk. Just like GTA, it's a risk if you don't put armor and this other protection on your vehicles because you could end up dying. So honestly, it's always up to you guys. Do whatever you feel like, but personally, I feel spending the few extra $100,000 to put the armor on those vehicles will end up helping you guys out. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully you did enjoy, and hopefully this video did help you guys out in terms of selling in public lobbies. If you have any more questions, comment them down below. If I don't respond, somebody will, because everybody in this community loves to help people out. So comment any questions or concerns that you guys have down below in the comment section. I'll try my best to respond. And of course, go and enter the giveaway that I'm doing on my Twitter right now for your chance to win some awesome prizes. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.